Hello, and welcome back to Lifeless Planet. Last time I fucked up, something was wrong with that puzzle and I couldn't figure out what it is. This time we're gonna change that. So let's look at this man-made structure and hope it's relevant. Doesn't look relevant. Does not look relevant. Hmm. So... Now what? So, uh, what's her name with the burlap spandex off yonder at with the door and me trying to turn it on? Getting absolutely no help. Very much appreciated. We'll see how this goes. I do tend to record in batches, so literally nothing has changed since last time. This is exactly the same, whatchamacallit, uh, instance of the game. Haven't even quit and saved the recording because I'm actually confident in it working. Hey, how's that for gonna go poorly? But, since you're watching this, I was right, and, uh, whoever disagreed with me was wrong, and wow, I didn't see that at all. Okay. So at least it's not hard to fix. Just gotta power whatever this powers. The magic of science. As much as the uh, mechanical arm puzzles are a bit contrived, they are pretty fun. Hey, there you go. That's what I wanted. Because reasons. I mean, yeah, the mechanical arm puzzles, though, it's like always, you have a rock, pick it up, put it in the hole. Ta-da! Which is a bit of a shame, because I feel like they could have done maybe a little bit more interesting things with it. But maybe not. That might have been too complicated. But like there's, if they don't do anything else with it, there's really no reason to not just have drop the rock in the bottom. And that's the answer. Um, gotta remember how to climb all this. Something like that. Yeah, they move around, which makes it unnecessarily complicated in my opinion. Oh, come on, there's more here. I did not remember that. Well, alright, brought this all the way up here for no reason. Hooray. And once again, mechanical arm, pick the rock up, put it in the hole. Hooray. Sexual context, subcontext, submeaning, whatever the word is. I don't know. And then jump to our nothing like deaths, which is how I hope this continues to go. Nothing like death. Not much of it. I really don't feel like that's efficient power transmission. But, I guess, what do I know? Just being an astronaut. You know, it's not like I have any special skills. Cool. I guessed right. Level when that happens. Just gonna get a drink of water, because it's a loading screen. Crater! Bum bum. Dramatic noise. 
So yeah, it's still pretty awesome that uh, the ground glows wherever she walks. I feel like there's some uh, Bible metaphor in there somewhere, but I'm not going to make it. Feel free to do it yourself. House. Been a while since we've seen a house. And that looks like a document on the porch. Wow, that foundation is nothing resembling sturdy. A little bit apprehensive about going on there, honestly. The test subject. <clears throat> Much to our dismay, the ecological impact of our exploitation of the green fire was vicious. The plant life receded rapidly. We theorized that the moss was the primary food source of food for all the life on this planet. Unfortunately for our civilization here, the decrease in moss not only meant the decrease in power, but also a decrease in oxygen. Human and plant alike began to die. As luck would have it though, one of the doctors noticed an oddity in town. One of our assistants, Elita, was keeping a garden and it was thriving. We attempted to discover its secret, but Elita was strangely defensive. Apparently her child had died in the early stages of the oxygen shortage. Elita's refusal to cooperate and share her secret forced our hand. Soldiers came threatening to burn her garden, but when Elita moved to protect her plants, they grew stronger. Her touch made them react, brought them to life. Regarded then as a tool, Elita was taken, imprisoned, and forced to undergo terrible experiments. We severely altered her on a genetic level by injecting an abundance of native DNA into her body from preserved moss cultures. Don't think that's how DNA works, but... While she roared in pain and protest, we took her humanity away on a molecular level. Definitely not how DNA works. Alita was more of a plant than a human when we were finished. Definitely not how DNA works. Her eyes took on a brilliant green color and her lungs filled with CO2, but it was a success. Her footsteps invigorated the ground in her wake with small sprouts of life. The moss responded to her touch, rising up from the dust. I do not expect Alita to forgive us but she is the only hope to restore the balance of life on this world. Without Alita, the planet will remain in decay for the rest of time. So now, I'm finally allowed to say her name again. She is Alita. That doesn't, to me, sound like a common Russian name, but... There you go. So, hello. I'm an astronaut, nice to meet you. You're a plant lady. So, um, while I think that it's kind of horrifying to, uh, have done to her what they did to her, can't really blame them. Uh, ooh, what is that thing? It's part of my personal philosophy that everyone is pretty much justified in doing what it takes to survive, if they want to. I feel that, you know, in doing that, you should do your best to minimize harm to everything, but... Yeah, keep yourself alive, and they were trying to do that, so can't really blame them. Which is just weird to say, because that was, like, a horrible thing to do. Absolutely horrible. Some kind of meteorite, I guess. Impacted object with a document. Huge meteorite and a very quiet recording. Initial analysis of meteor indicates non-typical of terrestrial meteors. Upon further investigation, the meteor appears to be part of a highly engineered vehicle. Mm, excuse me. Our current theory is that this crater was the landing site for the advanced race that built the portals and related power structures set up a research outpost on the rim of the crater, and we plan to study the site at least through next winter. Neat. And we got a little road over here. That doesn't look terribly engineered to me, though. I mean, look at it. That is pretty clearly a rock. A very metallic rock, but pretty clearly a rock.
More rock. Slash spaceship. Rock ship. That's basically a drill, I guess. With a cabin. Ship for traveling through rock. That's actually like a cool idea, but also very silly. For purposes other than mining. Because for mining, I mean, that's super useful. What is over here? Button. Whoa, okay. Thing, thing, thing. It's moving. Not sure why that's connected to down here, but I'll take it. I guess I should get back up then. So, the place where they think the other aliens, because that's weird to say, but right now we are aliens. Uh, the other aliens, I think this is where they first showed up. So that's the research outpost that was mentioned uh, in one of the documents, I forget which. Neat. And I still have no clue where I'm going. Eh? Oh, that's the volcano. Volcano. It's pretty cool that they include that. Nice little detail. Huh, some interesting distortion going on. Not really sure what's up with that. And a nice little shining beacon that goes through the ground slightly sometimes. Nope, not quite. And there you go. Stays on behind the rock pillar. Rock pillar. It's made of rock, probably. Maybe metal. Metal is a kind of rock. Avatar The Last Airbender has clearly established that. So, Alita, you've been living here alone for several years with nothing to wear but burlap-based spandex. How have you been doing? Silent treatment, huh? Or are you just tired? Or have you forgotten how to speak since you last spoke? Or do you not understand anything I'm saying because you're Russian and I'm speaking English? I could try speaking Russian, but I don't know how to say burlap spandex. In Russian. I can say that in English, I guess. Big green platform. That seems like it's gonna be important. There was something like this under the portal, too. And there is something that looks like a portal right there, and right there. And... some green over there. Ancients. This is... neat. I think neat is maybe a slight understatement. Hmm. I'm tempted to end it around here, but we're still got some time. So let's go look at this thing. Probably only have time to read this anyway. It is quite dark though. I'm pretty sure I have it set to lighten the dark areas too. Wow. Alien the artifacts. Studying these alien structures. What were they looking for? It looks like the Russians were studying the work of the portal creators, the network of monoliths, huge power structures, and the number of walls and doors surrounding them. I still can't figure out how it all connects. Nor can I, Captain America. Nor can I. Well, I have nothing to put in there, but it looks like that's a button. If I press the button. Absolutely nothing happens. Well then. This is a monolith here. 
No, I think this is just a rock. Okay. Good job. Clever me. So that's a thing, that's a sort of portal thing. That's a thing. Let's go look at that thing. Oh god, my phone. It's making noises at me. I'm so sorry. I actually have no idea if you heard that. Whoop, okay. Crack my head straight into that. I hope that was the right thing to do. Um... I want to say let's look at the next thing in the next episode, but I'm gonna forget by the next episode, so let's do it now. Now can we push the button? Summon it to this side? I'm not sure what the point would, for that would be, because I could just carry it, but it's possible. Nope. So, I need something else. Well, I guess then, since I have no idea what I'm doing now, uh, the next episode is actually a good place to carry on. So, I will see you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please consider leaving a like, a comment, or subscribing to my channel. And if you really liked it and you're super charitable, I have a Patreon account. You can support me and help me continue doing these videos full time. And I will love you. So the link for that is also in the description. Please check it out if you're at all interested in giving me money. If not, have a nice day anyway. And I hope you see I see you during the next episode of Lifeless Planet.